This may be that could fall out of course in injury. What would you say to people who are coming to Panama? What advice have you got? Don't miss Panama. Come to Panama because oh. you're going to see a lot of amazing things. Good beaches. Yeah. It's like summer the whole year. You heard it here first. <laughs> early and I'm on the last leg of the journey to score the wave that I came so far to get. After all those buses, all those planes, taxis, ferries, all of that, now I've just got 30 minutes until I get to the wave. Not exactly sure what the waves will be like. Yeah, hopefully head high and tubing, but never know until we get there, so see you at the beach. Pretty on shore, which is quite annoying because I walked like an hour for this. But uh, kind of knew it, the wind might be a little bit sus this morning. But it's a good chance to it's a good chance to kind of scope out any banks at like this snuggy little right when it's offshore. Pretty hectic to be honest. It's not why you come here, but I'm gonna spend a month here and come here every single day until I get waves. Loads of swell though, which is good. But um, yeah, don't unless it rains or something, which it doesn't look like it's gonna. Um, I don't think it's gonna be good here today. So I might head back into one of the reefs instead. just got in from the sickest marathon session ever. 
Like, I've been waking up at 4.30 every day, marching down here in the dark, about an hour walking from where I'm staying. Um, so yeah, it's been some like big mornings and then some days when it's been a bit bigger and I've been a bit like nervous of getting like, of taking off on Cess, like I've just ended up paddling around. But today was just like the perfect like balance, like just kind of head high, maybe some slightly bigger sets and just at that perfect level where you're like, where you're pushing yourself to take off on sets and get barreled and stuff, but you're just not scared at all. So it's so good. For me, this is like, this is as good as surfing gets. <laughs> like head high, hollow wedges, breaking over sand is kind of like my wet dream. <laughs> and yeah, that was so much fun. So, and as well, I've never been that confident in hollow and heavier waves. So to come here and practice and be able to practice over and over again, like, you know, taking off behind the peak and like trying to backdoor it and like knife under it, for most of us are the same as well like for the most part we're just surfing you know your local average beach break when it's on shore like after work in whatever conditions you never get that like repetition of of trying to get barreled or at least i don't <laughs> i guess it depends where you live but you know we've all got so many other things happening in our lives like you don't get to practice that much so it's been so sick to have days like today where every set you can get barreled so yeah I'm stoked to be able to share it with you guys as well and hope it inspires you to either come here or just go surfing. Uh, as well, big shout out to host Stevie. They kitted me out before I came away traveling with heaps of stuff. And because surfing this much in heat this intense is so, so gnarly. This hat's a lifesaver. Um, and yeah, leg robes, all that board socks, all that kind of good stuff as well. So I'll leave the link in the description where you can check it out. This year I want to be releasing these kind of videos alongside the more informational ones as well. So let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, I've got this hour long walk all the way back to where I'm staying, which is a place called Scully's, which is not close to this wave, but it's close to a few other waves that you can walk to. I mean, I'm walking this, but it takes like an hour. Like you can get a taxi or you can like rent a quad or something, but I've just got to save money because I'm planning to travel until Christmas. Um, it's only February, so <laughs> got to be a bit tight with the with the cash. But yeah, Scully is a wicked place to stay. You can stay there for $15 per night for a dorm room and you're right on the beach. Um, and you can walk to a few of the different reef breaks from there, which are like 20, 25 minute walks away. The only downside with Scully's is that you have to commute into town if you want to go to like some other restaurants or do a food shop. Um, but if you do that like once a week, it's, it's not so bad. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, please like and subscribe if you did. For now, I'm going to get walking and I'll see you in the next episode.